What's up guys, today we're going to learn how to create this simple configurator light setup. Why is it a good configurator light setup? Because this is a 360 degree light setup, so it doesn't really matter what angle you look at, at the car, uh, the light is probably going to look good. So this is what is often used, sometimes more complex, but basically this is what's mostly used for these white classic configurators. So we're just going to jump right into Blender. So we're in Blender, I set up a simple scene, everything is default Blender, I just got a Supra here, it's already shaded, I've got a floor plane, it's very basic. So first thing, we're going to turn off the sky, then we're going to create a cylinder, we're going to move it up with GZ1, we're going to scale it up, we're going to delete the caps or the faces of the cylinder, don't forget to set it to smooth shading, open up the shader editor, open up UV editor, then don't forget to create a material, otherwise nothing will show up in the shader editor. We're going to call it sky or light, it doesn't matter. Delete the principal shader, add an emission shader, add a transparency shader. Now a mix shader, so we can mix both of them together. We're going to mix both of them together with a gradient shader or a gradient texture. Just hook it up to the factor. Um, add the mapping and the texture coordinates node. Now we're going to change the UVs. We're going to press U, project by view and bounce. Now we're going to flip the UVs with R90 degrees, uh, hook up the UVs to the mapping node, otherwise it won't show up. And now you see we've already got a pretty cool simple sky, but it's covering up the camera. So we're going to turn off the camera view, we're going to turn off diffuse as well, because we're going to light the diffuse from the top. So now move the horizontal skyline until it looks good in the car paint, just so it's kind of like horizontally. Now we're going to copy and paste the cylinder, we're going to merge the top vertices with M and at center, we're going to select it all SZ0, so it's flat, we're going to move it down, so this is going to be our main top light of the car, so we're going to turn off the fuse for this one, but keep it off in the camera, now you see it already looks pretty good, now we're going to bump up the strength a little bit, I'm going to bump it up to 3, so it looks pretty good. I already got a pre-animated uh, camera here, so I can easily go around the car. Um, now I'm just enabling the um, the denoising, viewport denoising, but that's pretty much it. So that's what it looks like. Super fast, super simple, uh, from scratch light setup for cars that works in a 360 space. And also I added my custom hate comment tire. So if you wanna use this tire, feel free to use it. It's on my Patreon for free. You can get these textures. Um, so yeah, if you just need a cool tire texture. It would be cool to see my tire in your guys' renders. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I want to make this video because I saw a lot of crazy light setups and a lot of people's renders. And I just wanted to kind of show that uh, less is more um, in especially talking about lights. So you see this was super basic, super simple, but just works very well. Um, and you don't need any extra software. It's just all default blender. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.